four. Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to my second Exo Force review, and this one is on the Fire Vulture and Thunder Fury from 2006, of course. So on the front of the manual here for a uh, Fire Vulture, well, see a picture of the set in action, and also with a manga style uh, depiction of one of the robots that there are. And some nice artwork strip going down, and the Lego and Exo Force logos, and uh, set number being, uh, hang on, and set number 7703. And also, doesn't really show a name on it, which, unlike with the other ones, of which it does have have the names of the me. Well, I guess it's probably just for the me characters, but for the robots, just the set numbers, but whatever. And on the back side of which, uh, add for the online survey, and then add a LEGO Universe with Shop at Home and LEGO Club, and add for the combination model that these two make. And then some nice artwork advertisement of some of the sets in a large battle, of course. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then the last steps. So now, the two mini things included. Which are just the two robots that are, which are, of course, seen throughout the, this line, of course, but. However, these two of which are exclusive to that, well, one of which exclusive to one of the sets. As we would have both of these, but of course these in particular, one in that's like silver mixed with translucent red and one mixed with translucent blue, of which very cool, quite cool done kind of effect to them. but. And if you're not sure how these work, is as you can see that in the backs of their heads, of which do have a technic plus hole, so you need to add this a uh, plus red, a uh, too long plus rod into it to make it work, as you can see there. So, but whereas these arm pieces and hand pieces are pieces that are still used to this day, but and of course we often see these as fingers of modern day mechs, kind of odd how that is, but, and whereas the, the leg pieces of which, which are just like the old Fabuland and Hero Factory minifigures where they stand on four studs rather than two, and although for the trans blue one, but which doesn't have a red Technic pin to go into it, but if anyone knows why that why it's like that, comment down below. Well, at least, but aside from that, at least good that we do have some exclusive meaning fi exclusive one, or I mean one of which that didn't stay exclusive for long, but the draft light blue one was did stay exclusive. But yeah, and that's about it with these uh, two mini things. Now on to the Fire Vulture. Oh, which, like most of the other mechs of this line, it would still quite cool. And of course, whereas for the color scheme of which, mostly uh, dark blue, black, and light gray. So, kind of fitting to the evil bit of it, of course. And although well, some bits of which are kind of similar to the good guy Max, I would. And so now from the ground up, like I usually do, you have the kind of same, same looking uh, jagged slope pieces, just with some uh, stickering to them, and of course, a lot of stickers to these sets, like I said before. 
but also those car engine pieces there also with some stickers on them and farther up are some jagged slopes on there with some like caution uh, stickers on them and like circuitry type to them and then further up do you have those interesting slope like pieces and the technique they're used here gratefully kind of like we saw on the Vladic mini on the Vladic figures in the Knights Kingdom 2 line and where is it right now for the arms of which hang on see one of which is still has that kind of effect going on and also a couple of technique bits of which which leads to a couple of what we call golly or golly matas hooks in bionicle but in light gray so at least good to have for mocking it does go up and down and for the other armor which has plenty of stuff going on like do you have the r2d2 head and body or astromech droid head and body with a tube that leads to it and probably builds a, what looks to be kind of like a flamethrower type of build and also have the fire optic cable that goes into the back part of which is for the uh, center uh, cockpit area which does have one of those common uh, horse handling kind of pieces to there and so a couple more jagged slopes around with caution stickers on it and also so one of those like canopy pieces but opaque dark blue and more stickers on there you can lean forward and there's four little studs on there to sit your devastator robot minifig into and it does fit in quite securely or quite nice and as for the back or I mean for the upper part which which is to have a jagged slope on there but Interestingly, this one, which does have the set number on it, not sure why, but whatever, and so now, like, where's the other one? Well, since I got this off Bricklink, it didn't, it didn't have that, but I'll get it, the piece separate off Bricklink at a later time, but yeah. But anyways, do have the, like, megaphone mega foam piece with a cone on it, used as a blaster, and also a com classic gun piece with a couple of studs on it. And also do you have this large uh, turbine piece, which is common, which are kind of common throughout the this line. And it does swivel quite well, even though these Technic beams kind of get in the way. Well, I'll look if you uh, rotate it well. And plenty of caution stickers on it. Yeah, as for this back part of which, which uh, if you notice this lime green bit to it is where you can like pull down on it and also light up the light brick in. which if you can see in there which done quite well even if it's quite old which runs around that and makes it light which of course are always quite cool and so now for the articulation of this set of which that the arms of which can go upwards and up and down although this one kind of hindered by the fire optic cable and where's the legs of which is full free range of motion and also the feet do have a swivel a little side to side so you can get some good posability out of that and that is about it with Fire Vulture. And now on to Thunder Fury. Which also uh, almost as much cool as that. Like as you see, completely black, dark red, and light gray. Kind of reminding us a bit of Stranius and Bionicle, Gotorian Legends of course. But also, while at the same time, Vladic from Knight's Kingdom, obviously. Yeah. So now on to the feet of which 
kind of similar to Grand Titan's feet, but instead it does have, as in with the jagged slopes all around, but instead it does have the like hinge bits on it. it as so good bit of change for that, and also those car engine pe or engine pieces, but also with stickers on, like we just saw on the. Uh, on Fire Vulture, of course, and also same effect as the last one, but instead it's in black instead of dark blue, and the joint bits now in black as well, and same effect as the, that other one, and of course, but with black and dark red, and then for the arms of which which kind of resembling to that of Kitangu from Bionicle, of course, where one's small and one's, like, fully loaded, of course. Whereas in this case, which does have some sort of Vaki weapon, but in red and dark blue, or dark red, and dark red and black, oh, which very cool for that, which definitely workable with some mocks of, that you can do. And for this other armor, which looks like a quite large blaster going on, and also with some special ammo going on to it, and the little technique failed bit to it is a single sticker that goes over multiple pieces, which for newer sets we don't see anymore, gratefully. And as for the center canopy piece. Or canopy area, which does have a like, does have a oh, what's it called? A gaffler gun area, but made with binoculars, obviously, and also a car rim piece in there, and also comprised of a couple jagged slope bits and a different kind of ones. And same thing going on where it has the set number on there. Not sure why, but whatever. And of course, logo of the robots, obviously. And of course, and of course, you can see the, the light brick in there, which also from the back corner, which is where you can pull it up and have it light. Let's pull it back and lights up, which, mine of which, not so lighting up. Uh, but at least yours could kind of vary a bit, but yeah. And again, four studs on there to fit your Devastator robot minifig into. And as for the like top part of which, also comprised of two different jagged slopes with stickers on them, and also four black harpoon pieces, probably to act as uh, spikes to it, which quite cool, which kind of be cool for that, and also good use of pe this piece there. And so for the articulation of this, this one of which where the or this arm of which can go where, or with both arms go up and down, side to side, and you go in and outwards, and this part rotates and goes up and down. And this other one of which, oh whoops, the fiber optic cable kind of popped off there, which kind of an issue with this one. I, although this one's kind of falsy, which I think there should have been another joint bit to there, but yeah. Well, unless we could figure out how to attach that but without it, or just figure out how to attach without it getting in the way, but yeah. And it also for the legs of which do go up and downwards and have full range movement plus swivel ankles. And also on fit to it is this upper section which is quite hollow for that. Although I think they sh that a couple more uh, plates or bricks could have been added in to fill it up a bit, but or maybe 
yeah, probably what they could have done, but, or unless it was for a price issue or something, but whatever. And also plenty of firepower in the front part, but well, that, and also these uh, trans red cones on there for that. And so now on to the final verdict. Well, overall, I think these are. Oh, hang on. Okay. So overall, I think these are which are uh, quite cool sets for the time. Like, do get some interesting builds to it, and one of which, and also some good uh, uh, devers, their droid be, uh, robot mini figs. Uh, but however, one of which stayed exclusive to one of them. Well. While the other, which just appeared in a couple other sets, event down the line, but yeah. Although, although it would have been nice if the trans blue one uh, did come in other sets, but maybe that's just me. But also, do get a couple of interesting pieces to them, like the Vaki blade golly hooks and the jet turbine, which do provide some good recolors to that and. Aside from that, at least they also do provide as good parts packs of dark blue and also dark red and black and whatnot. But yeah, and also good articulation for well for Fire Vulture playing good articulate for that. But yeah, and so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.